welcome or welcome back to another video in today's video i actually have a few coloring supplies to show you guys um i'm still missing a couple of supplies so i'll show you guys all in my next video once i finish receiving all of my supplies but in today's video i'm going to show you guys a few of my supplies so i hope that you guys do enjoy this is the paper that i'm going to be using to test out certain markers that i have ordered and certain things that i had to um try out with you guys so let's go ahead and get started with this video like i said if you're new i hope that you subscribe down below and um turn on that notification i do upload every single monday um for you guys either show you guys supplies or show you guys a lot of, of the um coloring books that i be getting or i get from other people that have been gifting me some so um some coloring books which i appreciate it so much and um like I said on my last video, I've been learning how to do my own acrylic nails. So here are my next set. After this one, I might be taking a break and leaving my natural nails to um, just have the time to just be without acrylic. But this is my next set and I think they came out okay. They're not that bad. But <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this video for you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoy for the first item that i had a purchase i have this a glossy accent this is a clear gloss finish that you can use i usually use it for eyes and then anything that i wanted to look on the page is shiny um <clears throat> it doesn't have any glitter on this this is just to make it shiny and it's just clear basically so i am halfway with this one i'm almost done with it i was having trouble with it the last time and i had stopped using it because the tip had been blocked completely so what i did i just um took off the tip like cut it off so that way it's just easier for me to clean that out whenever i'm going to be reusing it because it does dry out on the tip if you don't clean it and that was one of my mistakes that i did i ended up not cleaning the tip and um it had blocked my little entrance for the glossy accent to come out but i ended up purchasing in this one they do last long because i had this one since probably close to the end of the year next last year and i'm already halfway so i decided to purchase another one so this one will be in the comments down below if you are interested on any of these um items that i'm going to be showing you guys i put all the links down below in the comments so be happy to go down to the comments and just click on whatever you're interested on and go from there but um yeah i had purchased another one of these so i'm super excited about that and let me go ahead and show you guys how the tip actually does a look i shouldn't do this off camera but it's fine so this is um how the tip actually looks but like I said, I just cut it off. So that's the tip. And in there, it had gotten stuck. Like some of the glossy accents stayed in there when I had used it. And it didn't went down. So it got dry and it blocked my little entrance there. But that is the glossy accent for you guys. So if you guys like shiny pages or your eyes when you're doing a chibi or Camilla and Jacobo or anything that has to do with eyes, here is one of the um, supplies that you, can, you guys can actually use next product that i wanted to show you guys is these liquid pearls i ended up getting the entire pack um it, the first pack comes about six of them and these are the colors of them the first one is bronze and i'm going to test them out on here very quickly for you guys this one is the sage color I only seen a few people use these but they do come out really nice on the page so i want to give them a try this is the the slate color uh the marigold i do have more on the way they just haven't gotten here this is the taffy color and then here is the merlot color so these were like i said liquid pearls so let's see if we can go ahead and test these out real quickly so you guys can see it will be the first time me testing them out i received the package yesterday and i just decided to leave it there and just try it out with you guys so here's the first one <clears throat> i 
I guess I shouldn't be taking out that much out. I don't know. <laughs> but I thought this would be really cute for certain things you would do in your pages. Um, I did purchase about three packages. So this is the first one. Then I have like lighter colors as well. But you guys will see that on my next video. I'm only going to show what I just got for this week. Well, last week for you guys. And then for this Monday video. Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys. But I usually go based on whatever I get that week. And then show it on that following Monday. If I don't have a video already. Sometimes I do put some videos up a little early depending what it is. Only because it's just easier for me. But here is the first set. And I'm trying to see if you guys can see that I do need a new lamp as well. But I think they look really, really nice. Like it's just gonna make the page pop out more and um I don't know, make it more stand out, I guess. But let's see when it dries. I'll just touch it or whatever once it dries out. But that's the first um a set of these in pearl colors and the first one brings a set of six and the link will be in the comment down below for you guys here we have the next set these are the stickles one and these are the ones that i really really love and i had the the first time i bought this it was the color clear the holographic the gray one and then i had i forgot which one was the third color i think it was the gold color if i'm not mistaken and here are the colors. It's a total of six that came in this package. So the first one is called Sunburst. This is like a yellowish color. The second one, this is Unicorn. This is the one I used to have and I used to use it all the time on my pages. And I really love how this works. And it is not like the regular glue glitter. Like it takes a little bit to get dry. These actually dry pretty quickly depending on what you put. Here we have the Grapefruit. I, I think this is a beautiful color. Here we have the pink one. This is hibiscus. It's like a pinkish color. Here we have the mermaid tail. And then here we have the palm leaf. So I'm not sure if I was off camera. So let's go ahead and test these out. And I do apologize if I ended up off the camera and didn't realize. But let's go ahead and test these out. So you guys can see. I already know how these work. So. Ooh, that's a cute color. Hibiscus. Here we have the grapefruit one. Let's see if I can open this one. Okay. This is the clear holographic one, which I really, really love. And then what you're going to use it for, and it makes the page look really, really nice. And then this one, palm leaf. Here we go with the sunburst. And then the last one for the stickle set, mermaid tail. So let me show you guys now how they look. They have a beautiful effect on them. Like, I don't know if you guys can actually see it through the camera. Like, I see it um, face to face. But I think it has a beautiful effect on it. It has a lot of glitter on it. Um, it just makes the pages stand out a little bit more. So those are the stickle set that I have for this um, package right here. So like I said, they're very cute. They dry up pretty quickly and they're not like the regular glue um, with glitter that you can get anywhere in the dollar store or dollar section. Um, and they take longer to dry than these. So these take these don't take that long to dry. So let's go ahead and show you guys my next product. The next set that I have found, these are the Tuli Art Markers Acrylic Paint Pens and I have all the sets for this, but I found this one. These are the metallic ones. I'm not going to be using these for my Disney pages. The reason why I got this one is because I want to use it for just my regular pages. So let me go ahead and show you guys. This is bring lime green, forest green, mild blue, 
Clissy Violet, probably saying it wrong, Shiny Iris, and Flashy Pink, Desert Orange, Yellow Gold, Glamour Gold, Pure White, and Sparkly Silver Gun Metal. And then and these are the Metallic Acrylic Paint Pans. They bring the fatter side, the medium tip, and then the extra fine. So depending um, how small or big the section looks, it just makes it easier. It does bring a set of um, extra ones just in case if your tip messes up and then, then you can um, switch them over. And then here are the best way to use it. You shake it with the cap on, then you air out um, whatever is there. You prime it, paint, and then cap again. So it's very easy to follow the instructions on there. So if you have never used this before, I do recommend for you guys to get them because I really, really like these Tully Art markers. I use them for my Disney pages. And so far, they have not been giving me any type of problems at all. So I'm going to show you guys. They're the same color set. They're, this is just the bigger tip like i said depending on what section you're going to use on the page and they're all metallic so i'm not going to show how these work because it's the same thing as them so i'll show you guys the little ones here this is the black one so i don't need to show you guys that one let me see i'll do the pink one you have to shake it and then um, i usually just press down and leave it there for a few seconds and then check it if nothing's coming out press it again it does take not that long but a few seconds for it to start coming down because they are new so here is a little bit starting to come down i'm going to go ahead and press it one more time there's that color so i'll do all of them real quickly for you guys Okay, so those are the sets. Those are the colors and it's a very, very nice metallic color. I love metallic colors, anything with shiny and it just makes the page, it pops out so much better than just letting it um, plain. Um, I don't know, in my opinion, I don't know, I guess it just makes it funner for me. It's just, I entertain myself doing this. I like to color for the fun of it. Um, but here are the sets of colors that it brings. And like I said, these are the Tuli Art Metallic Acrylic Paint Pens. And I do have the entire set, but these will be just for my regular pages. The other ones, I use them for my Disney pages. And they work very, very good. And once you have them already, um push down you don't need to do that every single time only whenever you know that the tip is drying out you have to push it again so it can bring more ink it down that's pretty much it but they're very very easy to use and i love them like i said so let me go ahead and show you guys my next product the next two products that i wanted to show you guys i do have more on their way we have the spectrum and nor sparkle i do have the metallic sets of them but my daughter wanted them so i said you know what i'm always buying products anyway for myself so i just gave her a few of them so she could use them for her pages but here are the two um packs that i received yesterday and let me see if it says the color the spun gold sterling and silver onyx black these are the ones that come on here 
And then this one already had them ready for you guys, just to show you guys. This is the rose quartz, soft jade, and the moonstone colors. So let me show you guys real quickly, and then I'll show you guys how to do it on that side. I already have these set up. It does bring instructions on how to do it. You remove the yellow retainer, retainer ring. It does bring one in the middle. You remove that and then twist and nib section. So I'll show you guys exactly how I did it just in case. Um, I don't know, maybe make it a little bit easier. It took me a few tries because I didn't read the instructions first. <laughs> but let me go ahead. It does say push here. If you guys need more ink, you guys just push on the little area here. And it's very soft here. And then just go ahead and use it. It is a brush tip on there and like i said you push depending how much you want and then put it on there and i'll show you guys how the colors look here is the pink one or the rose one very easy to use and depending how much you want you just push on the tip so let me go ahead and show you guys those three first very nice the glitter like i love how it looks like it's so shiny like how can you not use that on your pages but <laughs> let me tell let me go ahead and show you guys this color and then uh, so you guys can see you guys they do come individually so if you don't want like one certain set and you want the other set you guys can do that as well you guys don't need to like grab them all together i just got them individually so here how they normally come with the little thing on the middle, the little yellow ring. You open it, you take this out, put it back in, and make sure you twist. You're gonna hear like a little click sound, very small. And that's because it ended up putting this side on there and it opened it up in the inside. So this is how they come. They're very hard right here. And you start pushing this down and you see how the liquid is coming down. So this one's running. Okay, well, I guess we test it out here. See, the other ones didn't do none of this. Okay, here we go. Oh no. What if I leave it like this? I think I pushed it too hard. But anyways, I'm testing these out. These are the first time that I have these type with the brush. The other ones that I have from this brand are not like that. They're just regular markers. But uh, unless I didn't shake it. I think that's what it was. <laughs> Anyways, if you do know you have to shake it. <laughs> Hold, um, squeeze. Yeah, shake well. I didn't shake these. That's, that's what it was. But let me go ahead and show you guys. This one, the glitter didn't come down. Let me go ahead and give it a try again. Okay, let's see if this works now. I think I pushed too much in it. Yeah, there we go. Now it's working. So I didn't shake it. So if you don't shake it, that's what you're going to be seeing. It's going to be runny as well. And it's good that this happened on camera so you guys can have an idea. And then... Um, this is how it should look once you shake the pen. So let me go ahead and do the same thing with this one. Take this out. Put it back in. Make sure you twist it. This is the Onyx black one and shake it. Okay. And then and push a little. So like I said, the other markers that I got from this brand are just regular markers. They are not, um, okay, it's coming down. They're not like these. These are very different. Like I was not expecting them to be with the little brush thing, but here is this one. Okay. That one didn't bring a lot of glitter out. Do it again. Yeah, so that's the black one with glitter, the gray one. 
I think they look really nice. I just have to like shake them really good. And I did that with the first one. So if you guys can tell that it works pretty good. It's just that these I didn't open them and I didn't do them off camera. I just wanted to do it on camera so you guys can see. This is the spun gold one. I'm sorry about the movement of the camera. Okay, so let's go ahead and push down. And here it goes. The color is coming down. See the color in there? It's coming down to the brush. Give it a little bit of time. Okay, this one I pushed too much. And this mistake happens, so like me, I'm new with this. <laughs> um, anyways, that's how these markers or brush markers work. There goes uh, the gold color, which I think it's, it's like a bronze type of color. And I think they're really nice. Like I am missing some more markers of like different colors, but I think this brand works really fine. Like I don't have any problems at all with the first sets that I had bought um, months ago. So like I said, here is, they're the Spectrum Nor Nor Sparkle ones and they come three in one. These are the metallic one and then these are just the regular um, glitter brush pens. So like I said in the next video, you guys will see the next colors of the sets that I ended up getting. I love putting a lot of glitter on my pages and doing different stuff. I ran, like all my supplies went down so bad that I was like, I definitely need to do a big order and get a few things all at once just to uh, get stack, you know, like put my items back in and get new items and stuff like that. So my next item I want to show you guys, I found these, um, paint that my daughter had and I asked her if I can have these two colors and the reason why I wanted to have these two colors because I want to use them for like the white one for the snow and then this one I just used it for like certain um coat on especially like Hannah Lynn coloring books or the um J Summer Chibi Girls they come with coats and stuff like that and you could do like the little fur so I decided she gave me these two colors and she has a whole bunch so she was like you can just take those I was like okay well I use these for that and hopefully once I do that I can show you guys how that works and then the next item I wanted to show you guys is the Mod Podge. I ended up buying, um, it came two of them, but it's only one for each order. If you end up buying this and it's a eight ounce, um, this one is the hologram top coat finish. And I want to give this a try for my Disney book. So let me see if I can find one. I already did one page and see how that works because I'm trying to see if I can make my page, um, stand out more. So here is how I did this page. This page I did it sometime this year and I ended up putting the glitter on the page and let it dry and see how it's gonna work. And I think it looks perfectly fine. Um, I don't know, there's nothing really negative that I can say about it. Like nothing went through on this side. The only thing I do have to test out is I guess I'll have to do the page behind it and see how everything works because then you're wetting the page again with the marker. So I wanna see how that works. So I don't really recommend you guys to do that yet until, um, if you guys wanna go ahead and give it a try, go ahead. But I wanna test it out first in this side and see if it messes up my page or not. But I like how the page it looks. And once I do complete a Disney book, my plans are to put like a plastic um, sheet over it and then see how that's gonna look and just, I don't know, it's Disney stuff, so I love Disney, so I just thought that that would be pretty fun for me to do. I think I completed another page as well with this, and I like how the page turned out. So here's the inside, how it looks. It's just regular glue with glitter on there. Then you place it on the paper, and it dries pretty quickly. It doesn't take that long. I'll say like 5 to 10 minutes, um, depending how much you use. I don't use a lot on the page. I just do one little small brush whatever brush you are comfortable using and I'll just do one dip use that side and keep running it over and then do another dip like that I don't double um pass it on the top because I know 
it's gonna mess up the page regardless of what you're using if you're doing a double pass so especially on those disney books so and any pages i think it'll happen unless it's like cardboard i don't know but that's just my opinion what i have gone through and my mistakes that i have to learn from so those that's that project the mod podge the next item I want to show you guys are these a color palette. It brings a total of a 24. This is the Jan and Crafts Metallic Watercolor. This is the first time that I'm going to be using watercolors. Um, I have never used watercolors before at all. So it's going to be my first time. And I'm... These are the colors that it brings. I'm very excited to use these. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use them. Probably like the background. Um, but it brings a, the pearl lemon yellow, the powder pink, bubblegum pink, the light blue, sea foam, the mint gold white, the yellow, the tangerine, coral, cobalt, <laughs> turquoise, the grass green, copper, silver, the orange, the cadmium, cadmium red the magenta violet aqua blue forest green bronze and the black and a lot of them say pearl on the top and some of them they don't say that um so like i said this one it brings two bonus brushes and it's my first time that i'm going to be using this so i'm pretty excited i cannot wait to see how this is going to look in a page i might start using it on my next page i've been working on camilla and jacoba with a body color um one of the girls and i've been wanting to do something in the background and i just haven't gotten the chance to like finish it because i don't know what to do in the background but i guess i can try these on the background like and it brings two brushes here are the beautiful colors so i'm guessing let me go ahead and put water on this and then i'll be back to show you guys i guess i'll wet what one of them i'll do one i'm just gonna do one just because i'm i don't want to be going back and forth washing off the brush and then doing the next color yeah let me let me just do that. i'm gonna just do one just to show you guys and then i'll be back okay so i'm back i'm not really sure exactly how this is being used but i did open it here you can open this here and then put the water through here like you squeeze it and then the water goes in but if I'm doing it wrong, <laughs> let me know because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this. Yeah, I think this is the same way as using the other ones. Let me just push it here, see if the water's coming out. Okay, so let me go ahead. I am going to use the blue one and shake it around, move it around with the water. If I'm doing it wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. I know I have seen people that have used these and they do such an amazing job. But I have no idea if I'm doing this right. I'm thinking I put too much water. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I put too much water. Okay. Um, then I have to wash this off. A little brush let's see how this looks i have no idea this is the first time i'm i had ever like i don't even know if that's right i guess we'll wait until it dries up let's just wait until it dries up but here are the metallic ones i'm gonna be playing with them off camera and i want to see how they actually works how it works on a page i think i put too much water on the little tip for here that's what i'm thinking but let me know in the comments down below please and let me know how to use these because i have no idea how to use this but i am very very excited to use them because i have seen pages with this amazing um it just looks really really nice so those are the like i said the gem and craft brings 24 metallic colors you know what let's try it on here because it did bring this let's do it one more time oops no messed up that okay such a messy person all right, let's just try like this. I just don't want to end up leaving it like this without you guys actually seeing what I'm doing for you guys. Okay, let me, I didn't push it. All I'm doing is just grabbing the ink again. This is cardboard. This is what came with the little package. I'm not sure if it makes any difference, but. 
Okay. Let's try that. Not sure if it's any difference, but it does have a little bit of glitter on there. So I guess we'll just wait until it does dry up and see what happens from there. This is how it's looking over here. Yeah, I think I put too much. But I don't know. They're supposed to be metallic. And I have no idea what I'm doing. But anyways, that's that. Let's just leave it there for now until it dries up. And we'll go back to it. So another thing that I can show you guys as well. I ended up receiving um, this cute coloring book. And this is the from Jewels on Instagram. She gifted me this book a while back and i was so so excited when i seen this one so i was i was waiting for my supplies to come in so that i can add this to this video this is from colored caramel this is the chibi girls at christmas let me push this a little bit back that way um and this is the kawaii coloring book and i was really excited to see this coloring book and i was like oh my gosh she purchased this one for me it's so cute it's very basic and nothing extreme it doesn't go overboard and this will be really cute because christmas coming and you can do so many things to the pages now that i have my supplies i'll be going back to just adding glitter and all this stuff to these pages but thank you so much jules for um sending me this on the mail I really do appreciate it so much and I appreciate your friendship so so much um but here we have this book I feel like I, sh I have to move everything Just give me a few seconds here so I have everything on my table I don't have like a big table or anything like that so so like I said, they're chibi, they're very simple based on Christmas. So if you guys don't have it, Christmas coming up, you guys can go ahead and purchase this one. I'll be putting the link down below for this one as well. Um, it is through Amazon. So it does have a few more of this same illustrator that you guys can actually um, see what else they have. But that is the... Um, Chibi Girls Christmas by Colored Caramel. Like I said, thank you, Jules, so much for this coloring book. The next product I wanted to show you guys is these um, Oil Pastel 12 Colors. This is actually from last year. My daughter had them, and I was looking through certain boxes of things that we had put away that nobody's using, and then I forgot that she had these Oil Pastels. I've been wanting to try out these Oil Pastels for the longest time. I have it set on my... Um, amazon um wish list i do have two amazon wish lists. like i separate my stuff i have one for my coloring books and then i have one for my supplies and um it's just more organized for me whenever i want to buy just supplies i just go to my amazon wish list supplies and then whenever i just want to stay with the coloring books i just go over to my coloring books not everybody does it but i don't know i just like how it just makes it more organized for myself so these are oil pastels and i have a set on my amazon wish list and i've been wanting to try them and they do bring a good amount of oil pastels but when i found these i said you know what let me just try these out first and then see how these work and then i can um if i can take it out i can um then purchase the set that i want look at this mess i'm such a messy person <laughs> okay they're very soft too they're not like the regular pastel sets that i have i'm gonna show you guys the one that i have so these are the ones that i have these are the soft pastel for artists and i had these for a while they're very very different compared to how these are and these are more like they feel more rough picked them up the wrong way so that's why they're all out but i ended up um i use these a lot for my background and these are very different compared to how these feel these are very soft and these are not these are just regular chalk and then you use them in the background i actually use like a um 
a napkin and I'll just grab it on there and then I do it on the background for me to use these but I can tell there's a big difference between this one and and that one so let me go ahead and do this I'm not sure I'm thinking that you use these the same way I'm guessing you used like a little piece of something to use it I usually stick with napkins this is the one that I've been using for this so I'm gonna go ahead and like, take a small piece here and see if that works the same way. Yep, pretty much the same way. Okay, and let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit of that. See, I need a bigger table. Um, so that's how it looks. And I guess you can keep on adding different colors and keep combining them with something like a small cloth or one of those little um, sponges you can use and just go around it until you get the effect that you want that's how i do the pages with these and they work perfectly perfectly fine i just keep on scrubbing and mixing the colors that i want put them all together and add a little bit more until i get the 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 texture that I want from it. So that's pretty much how I use my stuff. Um, but those are the soft pastel, the oil pastel. These are the oil soft pastels, and this, these are just the soft pastel. They're they're different. These are like chalk, and these are more softer. So I'm gonna be giving these a try and see how these work, and then go from there and see if I like them or if I'm gonna stay with the soft pastel. Okay, so it is. It, it did dry up a bit. And this is like watercolor paper pad. So this is how it looks. And I think it looks fine. It's a metallic color. So I like how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. And let me see on this paper. Yeah. This paper, it didn't really like. It's still a little wet. But you can see the metallic type of color. And I think it looks really nice. Like if you do like a, a splashy type on the background. I think it will turn out really cute. And I do like them. So I'll be working with those and seeing how they, they work on a page. I apologize for the background. My kids are up and they're playing upstairs. But this is the last item that I'm going to be showing you guys. I think it's the last item. Yeah, I don't have any more on this side. So these are the last item. And... It's super big. Like I seen somebody show these um little templates that you can use on the page and use them in the background. <laughs> Mines are super big. They're like the 12 by 12. Like how? How did I miss the size of this stuff? Like look at this how in the world would i cover an entire background? Yeah, you probably will take the entire background as the piece of paper and go based on that I guess but whenever I want to do like Camilla and Jacoba I wanted to stick like a certain percentage of the page and this is not gonna work but I am gonna find uses like <laughs> I am gonna find a way how to use these because I already got them I already opened them up I throw away the package so yeah these are just they're staying and I'm hoping that the next ones, I had ordered two packs and they're both different. And I'm guessing I checked the second ones and I think they are going to be big. But <laughs> here's the first one. I'll try to figure out how I'm going to use this. Here's the second one. This is the first pack. This is everything that came all together. They're big. Like, how in the world am I going to be doing this? <laughs> I see people use these and it's just amazing. I really want to like increase my coloring and do more things to my pages to make them stand out and I just keep them like basic and just color them in and that's it. I want to do more stuff and I want to learn more stuff how to do with these um products. So here's the second one. <laughs> here's the next one. I think I can cut this one. I'm not sure. Probably like use this as one design. And then this one as the second one. I don't know. We'll see. If not, just keep it there. I just move it around the page. Figure it out how I'm going to do it. But like how did I miss the size of these templates? I seriously thought that they were going to be small. But here's another one. And then here's the next one. I think I'll probably just use like the inside of it. It looks pretty cool. How would I use them? I have no idea. But um, 
Here's another one. So they all came in the same pack. I'm still going to put in the link down below. And then from there, I think that you can find um, if they have smaller ones and stuff like that. So I do apologize for that. There isn't much that I can do. But I do like the designs that it brings. Like, I really do think that they're really nice designs for backgrounds for Camilla Angel Cola books. Or if you're doing, like, a simple chibi um, page. And then you can just, you know, use this as the background. If they don't bring anything in the background, here's the next one. I think this one's pretty cool. I'm almost done. I have about three more to show you guys. Here is this one. And here's this one. And the last one is this cute pup, um, the little paws for a puppy. So those are all the items for this video to show you guys. I hope that you guys did enjoy. Um, I do apologize for any movement of the camera or anything that you guys um, must um, see that it looks wrong or something. But I do apologize. It's what I can do as of right now. And um, my camera just moves like the stand moves for anything it doesn't matter what i'm doing or if i'm going slow it moves so there's nothing much that i can do about that as of right now um but stay tuned for the next video because on my next video i'll be showing you guys more products that i ended up purchasing i'm just waiting for all of them to arrive and hopefully once everything arrives i'll show you guys in my next video everything that i had purchased and i hope that you guys have an amazing amazing day and i see you guys on my next video